And here is the news. Oh, thanks, Clark. Are you ever going to join one of our Justice League meetings? Uh, like, I'm saving the universe. I'm saving... What do you want me to... <sighs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another amazing episode of the Hayden Films Minutes. But before we get into today's minutes, I would like to remind you all of our sponsor, the $10,000 Hayden Films 1.0 screenwriting competition that is hosted on filmfreeway.com. And if you're a potential screenwriter and you're looking to submit your competition, you have the chance of earning $10,000. And if you'd like to check out any of our amazing articles today, we'll have the link provided in the description below. And if you like what we do here on the Hayden Films channel, you can like and subscribe so you can keep up with us on the Hayden Films Minutes. And if you'd like to check out previous episodes, be sure to click that fancy schmancy button in the top right corner. Now, on to the news. Our first article comes from TechCrunch.com. Walmart to pilot test live stream video shops on TikTok. That's right. Walmart and TikTok announced this morning they will be partnering on the first pilot test of a new shop on TikTok's social video app. Walmart, as you may recall, had planned to invest in TikTok when, when the app was still on the controversy of potentially being banned in the United States. But this article goes in depth about a new shopping experience that will be brought to you by the app TikTok, where, where customers will be able to shop on Walmart's fashion items without having to go to the Walmart app itself. They can go directly from TikTok and get all the amazing Walmart fashion that they can have in the world. This is an interesting concept. As we've seen, social media has become a new shopping platform for many online e-commerce websites such as Walmart and Amazon. And it's really smart of Walmart to tap into the TikTok market while the TikTok market is still on the rise. Using fashion and of course TikTok influencers to promote that fashion as fashion has become one of the main popular trends on the TikTok social media platform along with other applications such as Snapchat and Instagram to post photography and video on. So it's really smart of Walmart to do this because during the COVID-19 pandemic and the holiday shopping season, it will become much more efficient in the long run for shoppers to, app, to shop directly from the application that they've come to know and love and shop with a Walmart brand that they know and love. So if you'd like to pr check out this article, we will have it in the link in the description below. Our next article comes from the techtimes.com. First radio signal from exoplanet identified, helping experts understand other outside worlds. In this article, it explains that scientists have claimed that they have discovered the first radio signal from an outside planet in outside of the solar system. The astronomers used a radio telescope from the Netherlands, and they found out that the signal seems to be coming from a star system dozens of light years away from the Earth's solar system. This article goes into specifics, the saying is coming from the specific constellation of Bootes, which is located in the northern sky, and they suggested that the signal could be coming from an exoplanet itself. What amazing progress that we've been seeing in terms of space technology from the articles of SpaceX, from telescopes reaching all the way across galaxies, finding other radio signals, possibility of life on other planets, going where no one has ever gone before. If you know that media reference, be sure to subscribe to Hayden Films for more content related to that. And I'd like to talk about our subscription for a second. If you'd like to subscribe to Hayden Films, it'll help out our students and workers like ourselves immensely, and it'll help boost our algorithm so we can keep creating and producing these videos and providing you more awesome minutes articles like we found here in today's article with finding the first radio signal. And who knows, maybe we'll go into the sky one day and transmit these minutes to other extraterrestrial planets so more people can view the news of today. And if you'd like to check out this article and all of our other articles, I'd like to reiterate that we will have all of them provided in the description below for your entertainment and news information purposes. Which brings us into our final article for the minutes today from the Wall Street Journal. New ad fraud scheme highlights a growing problem for streaming television. Oracle Corp's data cloud measurement business said it detected a new instance of fraud in the streaming television that likely impacted millions of dollars in advertising spending, signaling a growing problem for advertisers as they move more dollars into the medium. With this operation, in which Oracle Cloud Data has subbed stream scam, took advantage of flaws in streaming TV ad serving technology and the supply chain to fool marketers into paying for ads that were actually never seen by viewers on any streaming platforms. This is quite a shock, ladies and gentlemen. People are now scamming and not guaranteeing that ad revenues are going to the 
potential investors on streaming platforms. Uh, with a huge increase in uh, live streaming and uh, streaming TV in general with applications such as Netflix and Disney+, Plus, it's no secret that advertisers are going to spend the proper money so they can get products out to you and me. But when people start lying about it, that's where it hurts the economy and where it starts hurting people's uh, potential shopping experiences on these live streaming platforms. Now, as far as entertainment goes on the live streaming platforms, I don't think that has been corrupted at all. But if we're talking about specific advertisements for perhaps new series, perhaps new products that are coming out into the market that are super new and exciting, and they're not being played, that's just downright awful, ladies and gentlemen. And in an already struggling economy and with a transition in the media industry going towards more live streaming platforms, we need advertisers to be on these streaming platforms so we can keep our market share going and our economy increasing exponentially as we don't know where we're heading into 2021. And uh, this article, it presents a lot of issues because, well, it also hurts the small stream growers as well. Perhaps people like you and me on YouTube and people who are uh, trying to make it up in a new medium with a, perhaps a brand new streaming software, trying to find a transparency between the ad revenues and uh, the streaming platforms themselves. If only there was a new streaming platform out there that there is absolute 100% transparency between all three things that make this media industry successful. Transparency between the ad the advertisers and the ad share revenues, the people actually streaming and hosting the content, and the people viewing and engulfing both the advertisement and streaming platforms. But hopefully in the soon future, we will see a new application and we'll have that transparency between our viewers, our ad shareholders, and of course the content hosters themselves. And it is on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that I will be concluding today's Hayden Films Minutes. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I hope you keep streaming for future episodes of the Hayden Films Minutes. Be sure to like and subscribe with the button down below if you enjoy the content we have here. Once again, this is Alec Barber from the Hayden Films Institute saying, stay healthy, stay informed, and stay safe.